So when it comes to masking, there are three basic ways that you can do this. And they're um, basically down at the bottom here. But one is just manually, okay? So you can go through the whole thing um, and uh, just, you know, on this image here, there's a couple of brushes. The first one is I use red to tell me uh, or tell the software what I want to keep. And then I choose blue to tell it what I want to get rid of. So I want to get rid of the background in this case and what it'll do is it'll automatically compute and um, if I look at this black and white mask you'll see uh, white is what it keeps black is what it's going to get rid of and there's little things here that I need to keep Oop, that's the wrong one I want to go back to red I want to keep that I want to keep this I want to keep the step back here I want to keep this headlight at the front so little by little you can start to tweak this and you know keep certain things and get rid of other things so you can see the little space in here uh, I can get rid of. Now I'm just holding down the shift key so when the red uh, brush is enabled then uh, if you hit shift it actually turns to blue so it's a shortcut key. All these little gaps I could clean up. Of course this is time consuming right? This is going to take quite a bit of time so uh, I'd have to go through each image little by little and then kind of go from there. Um, so that's not something that I probably want to do. Um, now there is this turntable mode. So if I tell it, hey, this is gonna, this is on a turntable and I'm slowly turning this around, um, what I can do is have it automatically compute. And I can do this with or without the turntable enabled. So, but if I hit this automatic compute, I'm gonna do that now. Uh, what it's gonna do is use the first mask that I did, and you'll see that as it's running through here, it's creating all the masks for the subsequent images. So that's really helpful because it does a bulk of the work for me. Now, it's not perfect. It's not going to isolate every little single feature. And in some cases, I may have to tweak it. But if uh, depending on your setup, this may work really, really well. Now, you can also create masks externally. So you can do this in Photoshop, create a, a black and white image and basically uh, use that as your mask if you want. I'm not going to be showing that. Um, there's even another feature here at the bottom that is a color picker basically. So you can just uh, select this button, choose your background and then um, you know once it does that you can just tell it to go ahead and automatically get rid of all the white or lighter portions of the background. So there's a few options here, uh, manual, um, automated or semi-automated tools, and then even external like with Photoshop or other image editing programs.